One of the most delightful things about Spider-Man No Way Home has been the return of Willem Dafoe as the Green Goblin. The sequel completely embraces its gimmick of bringing in characters from prior Spider-Man film worlds, including those from Sam Raimi's original trilogy. Dafoe had portrayed Green Goblin in the original Spider-Man film, and he along with Alfred Molina and Jamie Foxx, was widely featured in the promotion building up to the premiere of this new picture. Tom Holland and Zendaya spoke about working with the returning series actors after the film's release. When it came to Defoe, Zendaya was taken aback by how kind he was to everyone behind the scenes before jumping into character and being so convincingly nasty. In fact she claims that Defoe scared everyone on site according to Marvel. She said, scared the hell out of everyone to be honest. The coolest thing is that everyone's so lovely, and then they just play these very evil characters. He's so good at just like, just being lovely you know, hey how are you? And then mimics Green Goblin voice, like whoa. Tom Holland was amazed by Defoe's ability to deliver each sentence in a variety of ways. Holland claims that he's never seen an actor provide a filmmaker with such many alternatives as Defoe did on the set of Spider-Man No Way Home. He said, I've never worked with an actor who was able to give a director so many options. He has this one speech in the film where he's talking about Peter's kind of existential crisis. He must have done the scene 30 times and they were all different. One of the reasons Willem Dafoe's comeback to this role was so warmly received was that he took it extremely seriously. Before taking on, he stipulated that he could perform his own stunts since the veteran actor insisted on being physically fit for the role. He's just one of the many main characters in this new movie, but he was undoubtedly a highlight for many fans. Spider-Man No Way Home is directed by John Watts and is based on a screenplay by Chris McKenna and Eric Summers. And as synopsis reads, with Spider-Man's identity now revealed, our friendly neighborhood webslinger is unmasked and no longer able to separate his normal life as Peter Parker from the high stakes of being a superhero. When Peter asks for help from Doctor Strange, the stakes become even more dangerous, forcing him to discover what it truly means to be Spider-Man. Tom Holland reprises his role as Peter Parker, with Zendaya, Jacob Batalon, and Marissa Tomei, all of whom have previously appeared in the Spider-Man franchise. The film has been a huge hit, breaking records left and right and receiving unanimous acclaim despite months of intense marketing. With rumors of a new trilogy in the works with Tom Holland, Marvel and Sony want to keep the momentum going.